Hey there friends, so today I had a bug come up um, and uh, yeah, that just thought I'd share what I do um, when I um, have problems like this. So I was working along in my app, yada yada yada, and then all of a sudden, um, well it wasn't all of a sudden, it happened after like when we were deploying to production actually, the major release, we were super excited and I got an error. And I was not super happy about it, not super excited, requires not to find like, oh, well that's not fun. And I looked at it and I'm like, hold on a second. There's this require process browser thing, like what on earth? Isn't that supposed to be handled by Webpack? And it is, and I'm not actually sure what the problem is. Um, but when I experience something like this, I remind myself that I probably wouldn't have encountered this if I just use a lock file. Um, but right now I'm not using a package lock or a lock file with yarn or anything. Um, I don't want to really get into why not. Um, there are some technical issues with CI and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, so like the real solution for what I'm going to show you is to use a lock file would be a lot easier. But um, in any case, um, it would be really helpful me for me to know which of my packages recently updated and caused this problem. Um, in my um, application, I have like dozens of packages that I depend on and those have many packages as well. So it'd be nice to know which one of those broke recently. Uh, and so it wasn't just that bug either. I noticed that um, our app size increased like immensely. We went from 12 kilobytes to 156 kilobytes. Okay, these these numbers aren't real. This is like my reproduction of, of the bug in the module that uh, actually broke. We have a much larger app than 12 bytes. But in any case, um, I just noticed that our, our package size got way bigger too. So um, I asked on Twitter and people were really helpful and showed me recently updated. And um, so yeah, let's take a look at how to use recently updated. I'm going to go to one um, This isn't my actual project. Like I said, this is the... Um, this is my reproduction. We're actually going to go to 1.7. And here I have a package JSON. I've got my node modules and the dist and source, whatever. Um, but here, because npx is awesome and this is a binary, I can just run npx recently updated. And this actually is going to take a second. So first off, npx is going to go install recently updated. And as soon as that is finished, lulu it's going to run recently updated and recently updated it's actually a pretty simple um, like one file module um, but it, it checks the node modules and for all of the uh, things inside of node modules um, it's going to check for um, the versions that um, or, or for node modules that were updated recently like default is 20 in the last 24 hours you can set that um, with the hours, days, or weeks. Um, and I actually, I wasn't thinking I was going to run into this, but I ran into this um, issue when I was doing this in my own project as well, invalid version modified. So check this out. Uh, what I did was I um, installed recently updated uh, because you, when you run npx recently updated, it installs it temporarily, runs it, and then removes it. So uh, this file is no longer present. Um, so I installed it. Do, 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 do. I don't know why it takes so long. I guess it probably has like a million dependencies. That's probably why it's taking so long. Um, and a lot of vulnerabilities. That's fun. Um, and then I just edited, um, in node modules, recently updated, um, the index. Hmm. Oh, source index. There we go. Okay, so it's down here where it's throwing the error. If you look at the error message, you'll see, whoa. Um, yeah, right here. Whoa. Okay. Also, I don't like this uh, color scheme. I'm going to, I have it like set, reset my color scheme to something random every single time I open up my editor. Kind of fun. Okay, so I'm going to take this and paste it. Whoops. Paste it here. We'll give this a variable, or actually, we'll set a um, that for satisfies. Uh, we'll assign it to nothing, then we'll wrap this in a try catch. Error. And we'll just ignore the error. Ignore. 
and we'll assign this to sat. Um, maybe we could console log um, e, I think, or no, let's see, it's dep dot name and um, version. Yep. Um, just so we can see which ones are the offending uh, packages, and then we'll want to say if sat to make this a, a true um, working file. Okay, cool. So now I can use recently updated. I actually have it available in my um, um, in my terminal now. If I say which recently updated, it's going to point to that um, to the node modules bin file. Um, you could also now that it's installed, I could actually also do recently updated. Um, oh, whoops, updated. Um, and now npx will be like, oh, you have it installed, so I'll just run that run it there. Uh, so you notice I didn't have to reinstall it, but it's going to run my locally installed version. Sweet. Um, so here is the Gra GraphQL request. That's the one that changed. Um, I saw that earlier, but I wanted to fix this. And then we've got a bunch of WebAssembly things. I don't know who's bringing that in, but uh, they apparently don't have a valid Ember version range for their version. Kind of weird, but... I'm sure there's a good reason. So anyway, um, this is the one that changed recently, 1.7.0. If you try this um, like tomorrow, it won't work. You'll you'll need to do, um, you know, uh, days three or whatever. Hopefully by the time you run this again, like tomorrow, it's fixed and they have a 1.7.1 1 .1 or something. Um, but in any case, I was like, oh, okay, so that's the package that um, has changed. It was actually the only package that um, had changed for me. Um, over the last um, 24 hours, it was eight hours. Um, and so I went to the project and actually I don't have a link to it. Graph UL request. Hmm. Oh. And um, I said, okay, let's, let's find out what changed here. I actually, I first looked in the issues to see if somebody else had reported something. I didn't see anything. Um, I checked for our change log. That's not there. So I went to releases and that's where they do their change log. Um, I noticed 1.6 was fine. I um, like I knew that it was working before 1.7 was released because it was working earlier this morning um, with a with a fresh install. And like we deployed to stage and stuff um, with a fresh install. So it's only in the last, um, you know, since that update. Um, and so I noticed here support parsed query. Oh, that looks interesting. This looks like a, a CI thing. So I was like, yeah, that's probably not it. I looked at this and then I was like, oh, snap. GraphQL tag and GraphQL. GraphQL tag is actually not a huge dependency. I think it's like um, like 1.8 kilobytes um, minified. But uh, I think it depends on GraphQL um, or it has a peer dependency or something. Um, and then adding the pure dependency on GraphQL, I was like, oh, yep, there it is. That explains why this package is so much bigger. Um, it's because it's we're importing GraphQL. Um, and so that's why it's so much bigger. I, I'm still not totally sure why I'm getting this error, um, but that error is happening inside of GraphQL uh, file. So if we just remove GraphQL, then um, yeah. Uh, the reason that I use GraphQL request is because it's so small and uh, adding GraphQL in there makes it enormous. So anyway, that's how I found it. And so then I uh, made a this small reproducible example. Um, oh, um, updated descending. There we go. Um, and I filed an issue and hopefully people take a look at it and we get that resolved. But anyway, that's that's how I find out what happened recently is I use this recently updated package um, and if it errors out on you, then actually install it and go make that try catch. What we actually should do is somebody should file a pull request to recently update it to do exactly what I just did. Um, and say, hey, this isn't a supported version or something. Figure out something else to do with that. Um, so it handles that better. But yeah, anyway, um, I hope that you're having an awesome day and I will see you all later. I'm actually traveling tomorrow and the next day. Um, I might not be able to do my live streams for those days. Hopefully I will. Um, uh, I'll try, but, uh, um, but we'll see. All right. See you friends.